next question is to dr shrikant and i would like him to discuss about the the danger of this surgery because you know is this is this surgery safe or is it really dangerous how can we really make the patient fit for surgery and whom do you really consider for this surgery shrikant uh, as we are discussing this as a, a surgery performed in advanced cancers so before planning the surgery itself we start doing our work we diagnose what stage it is and then we'll uh, think of what all organs are involved based on imaging and then we'll also think of what chemo drugs will be we use we will be using and uh, as i said this is a uh, procedure goes for very long duration the surgery will be nearly for 5 to 6 hours and after that chemotherapy will be administered yeah. for 60 to 90 minutes so the entire duration of surgery will be a long procedure for 8 to 9 hours so during this procedure we can classify or simplify it into three factors we should look at the patient factors so the patient should be fit enough to undergo such a complex procedure for long duration their nutrition should be improved before that if the nutrition is not very well then they can have more complications like intestinal leaks and all and disease factors also come into the role if at all it depends as bharat sir was discussing about a pci index if the disease is extensively involving small bowel or uh, inter, uh, or uh, liver capsule and all the surgical resection will be more so the chances of complications in such people might be more and the duration of surgery is going to be longer as well and the third important factor is the doctor factors uh, if at all is a single surgeon is performing surgery for a long duration he might be tired and the quality of work might come down that's where we come in as a team so we most of the surgeries are performed in uh, two teams so the first team performs the first half of the surgery and after a duration of 3 hours or 4 hours the second team comes in so by that we can maintain the quality of the surgery so these three factors are considered which might change the dynamics and the complexity of the surgery and uh, an excellent anesthesia team and post operative care is also needed so that we can reduce the complications of these surgical procedures yeah absolutely i think you raised a very very important point here about the teamwork because teamwork is what gives the real quality here because you know without team this kind of extensive surgeries are extremely difficult so the crs and hypex surgery being a very difficult surgery to perform can only be done in a place where there is multi speciality setup where there is excellent high uh, sorry where there is excellent anesthesia team where there is excellent icu team and all these things make it a possibility otherwise it's very difficult to perform also another question which comes up very often is that you know is this surgery painful because pain is a factor which everybody is worried about and what is good as of today is the surgeries which were traditionally performed by open surgery that is with a huge wound are ca- can be performed today using laparoscopy and robotic surgery also so in selected patients this surgery can be made almost painless by these modern technologies but generally as we perform the surgeries by open technique there is an element of pain but that can be controlled with good anesthesia care where you know our exceptionally good team of anesthetists take care of your pain and most of the patients are comfortable and are out of the bed by second or third day uh, even after this advanced surgery